Yeah, you're thinner, whereas yeah. I'm more juicy, so right. I had to learn how to not look like, hey. Yeah, well, I had to exaggerate you know, when a I was lot more. When my back was hurting, you know, I would go home with a back ache because I was Cause trying to yeah. pop it out. <laughs> Any other questions? Stand on up. What's your question? Um, do What's your you, name? Natifa. Hi. Hi. Do any of you guys regret any of the decisions you made in your career? You know, one thing that I really regret was... Um, when, whenever you get a good booking, you take it, no matter what, because the time is really short. And there was a trip to New Orleans for British Vogue, and at that time I was in British Vogue every single minute, and I didn't want to go. I was tired or something was going on, I didn't want to go. And that's how Naomi got her start and replaced me as a Vogue girl. <laughs> oh, so she got that job? Yeah, she talks about it all like the time. And that was like her first job? Uh-huh. <laughs> that was her first Vogue job. <laughs> So if you could have done it over again, would you have taken that job? You know what? You should take every great job that you get. Yeah. Or else you, like, will birth a superstar. Well, <laughs> also, you know, I mean, time goes so fast. Like, you think that it's going to last forever because you're young, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It sure doesn't. Who else has a question? Stand on up with your question. My question is for Chanel. So how does it feel to be sitting with all these legends that came up before you? It's so amazing. It's the most amazing feeling ever. I mean, who would have thought me being able to sit with all of these beautiful women? <laughs> it's great. And also Tyra, she gave me uh, this necla necklace last time I was on the show. And it's a puzzle piece and she woke me into the industry and welcomed me into the industry. Aww. Thank you, Tyra. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we actually have a clip of that. Check it out. Do you see this thing on my neck? Yes. Oh, I'm getting teary. What is this is a puzzle piece. And oh. Oh my God. the other one that fits inside is for you. Can we see oh that? Oh. You're welcome. And I want you to wear this because we are just two puzzle pieces in this struggle for black oh. models. Oh, thank you Amazing. so much. Tyra. Okay. So whenever you feel like, oh God, I'm so tired, I'm so this, I'm so this, or they didn't accept me for this because I'm a black model, just know that you're one puzzle piece toward us becoming a complete puzzle. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Now, my producer over there is saying that Chanel has something that she wants to say to the other women on this stage. What is that? Well, I have a gift to give to all of you, and um, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank, thank you so much for unlocking the door and, give, and um, you know, welcoming me in the industry. And here's the key. <laughs> for you. Yeah. Open yours to Carla, see what it looks like. Ooh. Is it real gold? Is it silver? What is it? <laughs> so is it silver? It's silver. Oh, it's nice, key. Chanel. She spent some money, child. <laughs> some supermodel money. We'll be right back. <laughs> to generations of beautiful black models. Now, my next guest is a judge for Canada's Next Top Model, but in the beginning, she struggled to find her place in the modeling world. This is Stacey McKenzie. Hi, Stacey. Hi, Tara. <laughs> so, you got turned down by so many modeling agencies. Oh, yes. Um, I tried for about five years to find a modeling agency. I first started in New York. I went to all the agencies. I took a bus from Canada to New York wow. about three times. They all said no. I tried again in Canada. They all said no. For five years, I tried. Until my last time to New York, I went into a famous, a, a prestigious agency by the name of Elite Model Management. And there was this lady, I will never forget her, Karen Lee. Whew. Aww. The first time she saw me, she looked at me and she said, you're so beautiful. I've never had that. I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. So for all those years of trying, not giving up and persevering, and to finally be in front of this lady in this big prestigious agency telling me, you're so beautiful, and I, you know, I want to represent you, and I'm going to fight for you. And she really did. She went into that office, and she... That woman fought for me, Tara. She fought. Mm. I sat outside that office and I hear Karen 
telling the owner of the agency how amazing I could be, how amazing she thinks I am, how amazing uh, all of, of the potentials that she feels that I have. And it was just the ultimate. It was just the ultimate. And when she came out of the office, she told me that. You're an elite girl. You're with elite. <laughs> Much for that, Karen. Thank you so much for that. I'm such a cool I, um, baby. I, I, I think it's a big lesson for everybody, not just people that want to be models, but, but no matter what you want to do in life, if you have a focus, I call it tunnel vision, and you're going to hear no constantly. I mean, in my modeling career, in my talk show career, in my producing career, we've all heard no. All of these women on this stage have heard no, but they went against that. And I think Stacy and all of us are a testament to that. You're going to hear it constantly, but say, huh, what, no, what? I don't know that word. I don't understand what that means. I don't know what that means. You're speaking a different language. We'll be right back. supermodel time again. We were all together and we ruled the runways, we ruled the world. Walking on that street for me made me feel like I have finally, finally, finally arrived, fully arrived. Stepping foot onto this street I think was a, a tribute to Tyra's vision, and that is to celebrate black beauty. It was so empowering. It was the most amazing experience ever. We'll be right back. of letting all of our negative neg negativities go and just releasing and being, you know, like uniting. And that's what I think most important is that we support one another. We are here. We are here to stay. We have proven ourselves and we continue to prove ourselves. And we are strong black women, but we are strong women in general. Letting go of that balloon was an absolute testament to Everyone making a wish and a dream that we all respect each other's culture and respect each other's beauty in each, in each other's culture. 